The import cost extension shows you the package size of your various imports in JavaScript and TypeScript files. This can be useful for web development where you want to keep track of your bundle size. Now, here I already have the extension installed, so let's take a look at it in a React project. So I'm going to switch over to this TypeScript file, and you can see that what the import cost extension is adding is next to the import here, it is actually showing the package size that this import would add to the bundle. So for, for React, for example, it would add 8K, or if that bundle was served up GZIP, then it would add 3.2K instead. So we just get a nice uh, heads up of how much this is actually going to add to our bundle size. Now, if I go and I uncomment one of these other imports here, you can see how much this one is going to add. So adding React Router DOM here is going to add around 27K, or if it was gzipped, around 9K to our bundle size. So it's just letting us know, and in this case, it is coloring it differently to let us know that this is a larger import. Now, if we had a, a much larger import coming along, so for example, for jQuery here, you can see that it is highlighting this one in red because it's adding quite a bit more size to our bundle size. Now, keep in mind that the import cost extension is determining all of this by using Webpack. And based on what you're actually bundling um, and how you're actually configuring Webpack, so if you have a tree, tree shaking going on, the actual size might be a, quite a bit smaller once you actually put together the final bundle. But this can provide you a good, at least, um, an initial estimate of how much this package is going to add to your bundle size so that you're at least aware of the problem. And then you can go and optimize your Webpack config later on. The import cost extension also has some configuration. So if I open up the settings here with control comma or command comma and then say import cost, you can see that I can go and configure various things about it. So you can configure the sizes or uh, the size and colors of the various package sizes. So what is considered a large package and would be shown currently in the red color, you can configure all of that. And there's a, some other configuration options and some more advanced uses as well for the import cost extension. But that's just been a quick look at the import cost extension. If you're deploying to the web, it can help you be more aware of your package and bundle sizes.